Sorry, come to me another way feature. Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry, sorry. So explain yourself, why have you come all this way to have sexual acts with a minor? Yeah, you come to yeah. a Sikh school to meet an underage Sikh girl. How old are you? You said your ex was an underage Sikh girl as well. No, don't be underage. No, please. don't touch me. Okay, There's predators like okay, you sir, on the streets of UK targeting Sikh girls day okay, and night. Okay. How dare you target okay, a Sikh okay, girl? Sir. Would you have done the same to a Pakistani girl? No. Sasanga Ji, Waheguru Ji ka Khalsa, Waheguru Ji ki Fateh. Uh, if you're watching this right now, this is a CQ show that takes place every Wednesday at 9 p.m. on Sikh Channel Sky 748. And today, uh, Deepa Paji has asked myself to host the show uh, because, as you can possibly imagine, if you've on social media, you have seen the 30 second video clip of a forthcoming show on this Sunday where Sikh Youth UK team have actually caught uh, internet online predators that have been targeting young Sikh girls and this team have been working day and night and literally in the past few days uh, they've made so many catches and we are right now uh, currently live at one of those locations uh, our undisclosed location where they're about to do another catch and what we're doing is we're going to go and speak to the team and tell or we'll speak to them find out about these catches find out how these online predators have been targeting young Sikh girls and you know what this is absolutely shocking Sasanga ji main mara ja punjabi ji tanu dass dewa ke Sasanga ji aj bahut hi ek achanak khabar aayi hai ya tusi dekhya hona promo bani hai ki ya jithe Sikh youth UK wale Deepa Singh Bhaji ohna de sevadar ne ohna ne ek bahut vaddi ek program likhya gaya jithe ohna ne jehde bande chotiyan chotiyan apniyan bachiyan nu target karde hai ya online social media te utte ohna nu fadya gaya va ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਫਿਰ ਹਵਾਲੇ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਹੈਗਾ ਪੁਲਿਸ ਦੇ ਹੁਣ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਇੱਕ ਥਾਂ ਤੇ ਆਏ ਹੋ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਉਹ ਸਿੱਖ ਯੂਥ ਯੂਕੇ ਦੀ ਟੀਮ ਹੁਣੇ ਇੱਕ ਹੋਰ ਕੈਚ ਕਰ ਲਗੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਆ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸੰਡੇ ਐਤਵਾਰ ਵਾਲੇ ਦਿਨ 7 ਵਜੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਬੇਨਤੀ ਆ ਸਾਰ ਇੱਕ ਸਿੱਖ ਨੂੰ ਹਰ ਇੱਕ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਨੂੰ ਪਾਇਓ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜ਼ਰੂਰ ਦੱਸਿਓ ਸਾਰੀ ਸਾਥ ਸੰਗਤ ਨੂੰ ਟੂ ਵਾਚ ਸਿੱਖ ਚੈਨਲ 7 ਪੀਐਮ ਸੰਡੇ ਗਾਇਸ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਬੈਕ ਟੂ ਦ ਸਿੱਖ ਯੂ ਸ਼ੋ ਨਾਓ ਐਂਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਆਈ ਸੈਡ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਆਨ ਅਨਡਿਸਕਲੋਜ਼ ਲੋਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਰਾਈਟ ਨਾਓ ਵੇਅਰ ਦ ਸਿੱਖ ਯੂਥ ਯੂਕੇ ਟੀਮ ਆਰ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਟੂ ਕੈਰੀ ਆਊਟ ਅਨਦਰ ਸਟਿੰਗ and what we're going to do is we're going to speak to the seva das and uh, first of all you know thank them for the seva they're doing and i can tell you this right now uh having spoken to the police and i know the police have also congratulated seek youth uk on the seva that they're doing so i want to quickly introduce first of all wahe guru ji ka khalsa wahe guru ji ki fateh uh, deep papa you asked me to host the show again and i can see why you know what first of all every single person watching out there is thanking you the sangat is thanking you and all your team the seva das that are doing so much immense seva and raising awareness on the dangers of online grooming and also the predators that are out there and but not only that now you have started as a prala where you actually set up teams to go and catch these predators and then hand them over to the authorities you know what every single person right watching right now can't thank you guys enough for that seva because this is you know, absolutely incredible and sunday 7 pm the promo says it, we're going to you're going to show these uh, the full foot footage of the catches at 7 pm this sunday and you're letting the Sangat know. So first of all, what would you like to say in regards to this? First of all, Vaheguru Ji ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji ki Fateh and welcome to the Sikh Youth Show. Thanks Cam for um, hosting it today because we are very busy these last 10 days and the next 10 days we're really, really chock-a-block. So anyone, first of all, anyone out there who wants to help get involved and do seva and support right now, we need you. So whatever you can do, please message our um, Instagram pages, Facebook pages, get in touch, contact Sikh Channel, ask Cam Singh. Whatever we can do, we need as many um, support, uh, many of you supporting right now to help this project because this Abrala is massive. What we're doing is, um, uh, you know, these online predators who are 
praying, and people don't see this epidemic about how Sikh girls are targeted. They think it's just uh, white girls, and they don't see how Sikh girls are targeted slightly differently, and how they are preyed upon online. You know, people don't see how Sikh girls, because of the tabusha, will keep it um, keep it quiet, not tell anyone because of the shame on the family and whatnot. So um, this is the feedback we've had over the last five years of working on this. Now. Um, We've took it to another level where we're, we're, we're not going to stop, we're going to expose them. Uh, enough's enough. They need to be put behind bars and we need to show you, the Sangat, how bad this epidemic is. Because right now it's probably happening in your own home. So right now, Sar Sangaji, we're, on, we're live on a location, an uh, undisclosed location, where the Sikh Youth UK team are about to carry out another sting, where they're about to... Uh, expose and catch another predator that's been targeting a vulnerable young uh, Sikh girl and they're obviously on this is this is you know I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words because I'm actually taken back I've just literally seen the footage uh, this, earlier on today and we, I, when, I, when I was asked to host and come down and you know show the Sangata that you're live on location how much dedication how much how many hours are being put in to this Aparala I have to see it myself and so we have to support and we you know we can't I'll, I'll say I can't thank you enough what are some of the uh, reasons that you're doing this? N secondly, you've asked for the Sangat for help, right? Where can the Sangat go to help you? So where can they go? Online? Where do, where do they get that information? Let's clarify that first. And then, then I want to walk on to that you're doing these catches. How many catches have you done? And obviously we're here today uh, to do another catch. How old is this particular predator that we're looking for today? And you know what, what's the age of the girl that he's, he's, he thinks that he's coming to meet? So what, where do people go first of all to get involved with CQ UK? First of all, you can go to um, uh, CQ of UK or CQ of Birmingham Facebook pages. That's where you can contact us via Facebook. On Instagram, it's CQ of UK, Snapchat and Twitter. Um, also go on our website, www.cqofuk.com. Uh, any um, other queries, contact our helpline number, which is 07761 251 840. So that's all the details and information that's out there online. Please contact our team and somebody will direct you in the right direction. Um, uh, coming back to uh, why we're doing this, because that I've listened to families struggling when fathers are trying to hang themselves in the garage because their daughters are in care, no support from the authorities, no support from the social care system, no support from the Sangat. And the Sangat, seeing what the issue is, they will realise how bad it is. Then I think the calm will come together, it will show unity to say who's targeting and as a community it's about time we stuck together and united so that's the main reason it is to show how bad this disease is it's obviously i want to tell the song that obviously you've, you've you've caught a few people already yeah. uh hand it over to the authorities yeah. number one what are the ages of these people that you've caught and what have the what's the authorities reaction been they've been deceitful with their ages the the predators have uh what they say online is misleading and when they turn up obviously when we see their full id they're not who they say they were and what age they were and um, you know some has been old as 60 have been messaging 60 year old men have been messaging underage Sikh girls that's how bad it is there's some who have um, traveled as far as from South London you know all the way to Birmingham to meet underage girls of the age of 13 14 15 you know this is disgusting yeah they're coming all this way thinking that you know they're, they're actually meeting uh, a Sikh girl some have even come outside Sikh schools this is how bad it is they're coming to a, they have no sharm they have no um, care in the world about somebody's daughter, somebody's family or somebody's faith. They actually turned up outside faith based like Sikh schools to target under Sikh girls. This is absolutely incredible stuff to think that, that you're the server that you're doing. Uh, Cabs, uh, you're obviously helping out with the team. It's great to see that everyone's working together. What has the reaction from the authorities been uh, so far in, in regards to when the arrests have been made? Well, the, the, they, um, they absolutely congratulated us on um, the ones that I was there on, um, they really were like they were talking highly of um, the team. They couldn't, you know, you congratulate us for doing this and helping the authorities out as well. Um, I just want to say a couple of things. Really, this has been going on for to, for 40 to 50 years, and it's about time now with this footage that's being released that all the Gorm gets together, yeah, and supports not just Seek Youth UK but anyone exposing these paedophiles because it's only when these issues hit your own doorstep then it really hurts so we should all be doing some sort of server to save all daughters you know you know daughters 
sisters, everyone. We should see that all our Sikh girls as our sisters, our, our daughters, and help them. Um, it's only with this help we'll move forward. One thing I want to stress though, and I think is important that the Sangat out there know that I've obviously had a chance to see you guys grow and the work that you're doing. Obviously from Sikh Channel, we've been coming out and covering events. Uh, one thing I would like to stress is that you guys not only help Sikh girls though, although this particular thing you talk about Sikh girls, you guys help Hindu girls, uh, Muslim girls, you know, just, just you want to talk about that for a minute? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, we've uh, supported uh, uh, quite a few Muslim girls, uh, Pakistani girls who have come forward with issues, supported them fully, some we're taking, uh, one is a historical case which is sitting with us now, so I can't say too much about that, but that's going to, she's already took that to the authorities, now she needs a bit of support from our team, and she's been steered in the right direction, and I think she wants to come out public with that, so I believe that exclusive footage is only coming live on the Sikh channel, so watch out for that as well. So um, all of these people that come for support, we don't care what faith, your background, uh, what faith or what background you're from. If you need support from groomers, we're going to 100% support you. But our emphasis has to be, because people are brushing this under the carpet, our emphasis is to highlight how Sikh girls are targeted. Not just underage Sikh girls, you know, like, it's freshers now. At college, and you know, last year, at uh, Sandwell College alone, three girls converted, left their faith, left their families, were groomed and took away. You know, one is unknown to anyone right now and she was targeted by an Algerian gang. So, you know, the epidemic's massive, but you need to see at your, uh, you know, with your own eyes. This is why this week, the amount of time, dedication and civil does we put on this. People have took time off work just to so, so, we, can, uh, so we could show the Sangat how bad this problem is. All it took was, I'll say, 15 people to took 10 days off work. And that's what we've done. Obviously, no, I appreciate it. Tell us they cooking now summer and time that the effort that has gone in to these catches it hasn't been easy. I'm speaking to him right now. We're at this location right now where there's a, a guy that's going to be literally coming through those literally around the corner from here where these guys are going to intercept uh, who, who thinks he's coming to meet a 14 year old sea girl, uh, a decoy that you guys have as part of the team. What, what, Cabs, what inspired this? What, what, what brought this all together? Because you know what, it's, I'm telling you now, every single person watching right now cannot thank Sikh Youth UK and all the Sevadars that are involved behind the scenes. There's so many of you. And it's not, and it's not another, this is another thing that's very big. It's not just Amritaris, it's everybody. You've got Mone, Sejtaris, even Bibia involved in this, probably. Absolutely. That's the way it should be, really. You know, um, it's a Pantic issue. So Mone, you know, so, you know, Gestari, Omrita, everyone get together and unite under one banner. Um, but yeah, going back to your other question, Kampaji, what was that question? You got to uh, how much time and dedication the Sevadars are putting into it. Time and dedication, I can I can speak from accountants, lawyers' perspective, people who even have their own businesses. They've had to take time out, and sometimes you've said it'll only take a couple of hours. It's taken the whole day, you know, because more catches have come in. Um, so it's it's a massive, massive commitment from a lot of our servadors, but we need more servadors. People have to step up. The, it's not just about servadors for this 10 days. We're just, in this 10 days, what we've done is try to highlight to you what it, the, how bad it is. I'm telling you, these internet predators have took it to another level where they are so deceitful and manipulating online. You know, it's so, some of the stuff I've been listening to from, you know, the decoys out there, some of the stuff that they are doing out there to target young vulnerable children is, is, is horrific. Honestly, some of the stuff that they come out with, you know, they're lying about them not being married with five children in the house and whatnot. You know, their daughters are the same age as the girls they're targeting. That's how bad you've got to look, look at it perspectively. Their daughters are the same age as the girls they're targeting. It's, it's frightening, really, because it just makes you wonder what's happening in their own houses then, themselves. You know, if they've got girls because, uh, you know, nieces, nephews, what's actually happening in their own houses? How, how, does, it feel, how does it make you feel? Because you guys do this, yeah, and you've had this opportunity to save our has blessed this whole team with that save And you know, like I said, we can't thank you enough. What goes through your mind when you're doing this? And what, what happens? What's your reaction when you find out that this individual 
he says he's one particular age or he's another and and when they're married with children that's you know that's just mind-boggling for people normal people that's just mind-boggling i'll tell you one after sunday you can do your own research on one of the guys the guy is a gang land member. He runs his own drugs. He's been done for drug supplying before. He's been um, involved with um, shootings and whatnot. You know, these are the characters that are coming to meet young children. Yeah, this is what we're up against. Yeah, it's not a joke thing. This is we we don't know what we're expecting. One of our boys could be stabbed. We have to protect ourselves. You know, at all times, you know, we have to be visual around, make sure we're safeguarded as well as what is going on with the surrounding and the decoys and the whole team. This is how bad it is. Obviously, what's your reaction when you find out that they're, they're, they're this age or they're from this backgrounds, well, especially with kids, man? I'd, Anyone watching right now, we no one can even contemplate that, you know, that idea through their thing. But what happens when you guys see this, of all the catches you made so far, how many of them have actually been like so-called fathers? So at first it's an element of shock and anger mixed together. Um, I'm sure the Papaji will back me up on that one. Uh, so shock, anger, and then, you know, when you're actually just reading the driving license and you see 1980, 1981, and they've said on the system that they're 18-year-olds. It just makes your heart drop, really. It makes your heart drop. But because we've all got sisters at the end of the day. Yeah. But you can see from the images that they're sending of themselves, the indecent images they're sending to minor children, that they're not of that age. And you can tell yourself. But to you know, deceitfully try and manipulate the, uh, the, and coerce the children and the young um, adults, vulnerable adults, around their age, you know, they try and manipulate and deceit, be as deceitful as possible. But yeah, it's horrific. You know, 60-year-old men talking to 13-year-old girls. That's what we've seen this week. And, and I'd like to add to that, Baj. Um, they've also booked hotel rooms in advance of the meetings. We've seen confirmation of hotel rooms, apartments booked. So their intentions were to take it to the next level. This is absolutely something. This is, you know, this, I'm shocked completely. I was shown the footage earlier on today, literally just before this uh, live, where we actually come and met the team here at uh, this unlook, undisclosed location, where we're talking to them and asking them about what the seva that they're doing. In Sarsangi, you know what? You know what, this last minute goes, Baji, here's the situation, can you come down, see what the scenario is, see for yourself, and you know what, I'll, I'll thank these guys for all the, and not only the Deepa, but there's a massive team, uh, majority of the people that are here, uh, we, we, they don't want to be on TV, they, they want to do their seva, they, do, they want to help out and support, and do their thing, and it's great to see that there's so many different, that's why, that's why I asked that question earlier, it's just not Amritaris, you've got Mune, Sehistari, uh, Kesistari, everybody here supporting uh, CQ UK, and I think it's brilliant and there's also Bibi on here uh, because there's a decoy who's a, uh, a decoy uh, here that, like young females that are there so when the guy is coming so he thinks he is coming to see that particular individual Sunday <laughs> S Sunday, 7 o'clock, 7 p.m., every single person needs to be watching C Channel because the footage, the full footage of those catches, of those uh, online predators will be shown from start to finish. And what the, you know, the whole thing, and we're going to try to get as many Sevadars there, speak to them, find them out. And not only that, on this Sunday, we're going to, Seek Youth UK will be launching uh, one of their projects on that Sunday night, I the fifth project that they're going to launch, and I cannot stress enough, and I'm, because I've been already privy to some of the information. You need to put a, a timer on now, or a alarm clock, whatever you need to do. Sunday, seven o'clock. Every single Sikh in this country and abroad needs to be watching C Channel 748 at 7pm. When you see the full footage of these catches, you're going to be shocked. We're going to show you transcripts. I've, I've seen some of the transcripts now uh, on, on piece of paper in black and white where the individual, these online predators, are targeting these young girls. The young girls are trying to say, look, you know, I'm not interested in these sexual activities. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm this age. Um, this is not something that I've done before and the guy is so persistent and then giving links and uh, references to sexual nature to the young girl 
sending pictures, indecent pictures of himself and other things to the young girl and asking her to send pictures of herself naked. Uh, you know, th we've seen the transcript. Wait till you see the whole conversations. And this it is mind blowing what Seva CQ UK are doing right now. And you know what, Sarsangaji, you talk about some of the transcripts. Uh, just tell us some of your, some of the, you know, the, some of the conversations you've been through and they have, you've, that shocked you even. Uh, there's so many indecent ones, I don't really want to say too much because I don't know uh, the, right now what we can and can't say for legal reasons. Okay, but it is, uh, it's a shame how young girls are spoken to in that context where they're forced even about their dharm and other people's dharms pushed on them on forcefully online, how bad it is. Honestly, truly in Sunday you're going to realise how bad our girls get harassed persistently, systematically, daily not one-offs daily like one girl could you know uh, have about 300 requests within the space of a few hours you know it's seriously that bad it's systematic as well uh from the chats they they ask three or four times are you sure you're sikh um have you ever been with you know p p um inverted commas boyfriends before have you ever had a friend before so it is religiously motivated this is this is something the, the, the obviously many people are going to be shocked to the references that have been heard the terminology being used uh, but i can tell you now we've seen the conversations ourselves it's there in black and white and we're going to be showing you the transcripts uh, we're going to show you the full footage of those uh, online predators that have caught or tra tra targeted uh, these young girls and cq uk have caught them and we're going to show you the full footage this sunday 7 pm so you can see for yourself like Baji keeps mentioning how bad the problem is they've been dealing with this for five years now and you know, this is it's getting worse and worse. And right now, it's not getting better, it's not getting easier. It's not getting less. Just because you see one or two videos go out, you think it's getting less. There's hundreds of these people targeting hundreds of Sikh girls daily. How many cases are you dealing with on CQ UK in regards to grooming right now? Right now, we've got 83 cases. 83 cases, Sasangaji. It can wali gala. So can number it can I get 83? But that is, you know, look, imagine that. That's nearly the amount of people at Punjabi school in one Godra Saab that is being targeted and these guys are dealing with. How many they're not dealing with? How many have not come forward yet? How, you know what I mean? This, this, this problem, what would you say to all the families uh, that are watching this right now? What would you say to encourage them to make sure that they're number one, looking after their, 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 their family, and number two, encourage them to come forward? There's only one catchphrase I use and I always say, Sikhi saves lives. Make sure your kids know Sikhi, but make sure they know what the dangers are out there. Have that conversation now. It's down to the mum and dad initially because they can guide in the right direction. Then it's important to have the right peer support and Sangat around um, them as they're growing up so they're in the right um, structure, frame of mind, and they know how to tackle if, uh, these issues if they are approached, if they are harassed, or if they are targeted. My advice would be um, give Sakya about this great Sikh women we've had, you know, in the Mughal era, how they actually defended themselves as well, their babies as well, in the jails. So these Sakya are powerful and I think we need to use them a lot more. On the inspire, our inspire our generation, Definitely. and this is what it's all about. Sar Future role models, future role models, especially females. You need to step it up. We need future female role models who understand this issue. We ain't scared to talk about this issue, but will actually be role models for the calm. Also, Sar Sangaji, most of the times, one of the criticisms that CQ UK get is saying that they don't have enough female uh, volunteers. I've spoken to four of them here today, and on this Sunday, 7 p.m., we're going to speak to many more that are going to be there. And you see for yourself, I can't stress this enough. These sort of the people is something that we should be helping. Uh, they're going to have to go now because they've literally the... One of the Sevadas has approached them and I think they're about to do a catch. I can't show the catch for legal reasons. Uh, they, come, they have their own teams, they have their own camera minute, uh, cameramen that are recording the whole sequence from the start to the end where they're looking at this guy approaching the decoy who he thinks he's coming to meet a 14 year old C girl and they're going to show the whole footage. Uh, even the girl's got a body cam footage on her. We're going to show you everything, the whole everything from the start to the finish this sunday 7 p.m i only thing that what what do i need you guys to do everyone to do 
how back these guys, what for the save that they've done, they've, they've, they've gone off now. So what, what they're, because we're, we're, we're here right now, this is live on a sting right now. Although this is, you're seeing this at nine o'clock, uh, where we are, this, they are right now on a sting. They, what, what I can say to you is the following. If they're doing so much for our community, all they're asking is for everybody to watch Sunday night at 7 p.m. Apne uh, our Godware on our social medias, uh, on our own personal groups, our Ristadar, our relatives, our friends. You need to spread the word. Let every single person know to watch Seek Channel this Sunday, 7 p.m., where they're going to show you the full footage uh, from the start to finish of these online predators that have been targeting young Sikh girls. And you're going to, we'll show you the transcripts uh, of, the, of the conversations, uh, everything in black and white that will be in front of you you will be shocked madan hone warning there than if you do have young children some of the terminology reference that have been used uh, will be explicit and it, we will try to edit as much as we can so uh, it is is suitable to make sure it's air at that time but also, you can see for yourself the language that's being used, the threats that are being made, the how provocative they've made the young victim feel, how, the, how, the, how they manipulate her, how they coerce her. It's unbelievable. You have to see it for yourself. And this Sunday, 7 p.m., you will do exactly that. Seek Youth UK are doing things. They're out there catching online predators in exactly what's happening in this country right now and this is this is right now as in today right now wednesday the 12th of september they're on another catch right now and this is sarsangaji sunday 7 p.m the 16th of september put it in your diaries put it on your social media or we'll, we'll, we'll create an event for it and we'll get everyone to share it and get out there that's live exposes of online predators that have deliberately targeted seat girls and the evidence will be shown so you can see for yourself how bad the problem is. And once again, thanks to CQ Youth UK. Uh, they've asked me to host it. I have done, because how can I turn down Sevadars that are doing something for the month and the community to safeguard our future generations? So it's my honor and privilege to have come on today and part on the show because these guys are right now going, catching online predators to make sure our daughters are safe. Sasangaji, Sunday, 16th of September, 7 p.m., Sikh Channel, Sky 748. Spread the word. Wahiguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahiguru Ji Ki Fateh. Come to me, an underage teacher. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry. sorry. So explain yourself. Why have you come all this way to have sexual acts with a minor? Yeah, you come to yeah. a Sikh school to meet an underage Sikh girl. How old are you? You said your ex was an underage Sikh girl as well. No, don't, no, don't touch me. There's predators like you officer, on the streets of UK targeting Sikh girls day and night. Officer, How officer. dare you target okay, a Sikh girl? Okay. Would you have done the same to a Pakistani girl? No. Lock.